I think that's a perfect segue way. into spoilers. Spoiler spoilers. section. So if you haven't seen this week's episode, the finale, which is called The Return, by get the way, out of here. Um, we're going to spoil it season. in uh, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody dies? <laughs> Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> I guess, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, so that's... <laughs> like, let's lead off with that. Let's just jump right into it, okay? Unless, Dan, yeah. you want to j- do something first. Yeah, you want to no. sing us a song, Dan? Sing us a song. Sing a song. Play us a tune. Play us a I could play song you a of your song. people. I would never sing you a song. <laughs> okay. What? Wow. Beatbox for us, Dan. I would play you a song, but I got to get an instrument out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> boom, boom. That's okay. Long story <laughs> short. It's the after show. The after yeah. show. We'll yeah, get it. We'll, we'll get, get it, it, we'll get it in the after show. No, um, but yeah. <coughs> let's do it. Is Moff Gideon dead? I don't know, I man. I don't believe that's the problem. Right. Yeah. We never saw a body, so. He just stepped back into fire. Yeah. And he, and he was his, wearing a wearing a full like Mandalorian yeah. armor, but like, and like as you said, sh- yeah. like suit. And as you said before, we didn't see a body. Yeah, so yeah. Like, he wasn't there, mm-hmm. smoldering ruin. Right. That's a good point. In ruin. We didn't see. Well, I can't say. I was going to say we couldn't see Anakin, Anakin like, but he also survived. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gosh, dang it. No one dies to fire in this show. No, yeah. right. Even if he got torched, I mean, we know Anakin came back. And- I mean, Din got torched a few times he, he in did. this. Yeah. Well, I don't think he even got touched by on like, why, do the, why do the scale. Mandalorians even use those? Because clearly right? it doesn't actually hurt them. <laughs> I right. feel like it doesn't w- work well against other like, Mandalorians, but like, against like a Jedi yeah. who d- just has like, you know, exposed like skin. Like how's the lightsaber going to deflect all the fire? I mean, it could it could be blinding to their vision. You know, I mean, obviously, yeah. <laughs> this flaming yeah, yeah. ball of death coming at you, you're not going to be able to see very well. So My it's kinda, eyes! It's like, a, it's like a smoke bomb for Mandos, you know. Right. And it heats the metal, probably probably starts to cook you a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I think it's more of a prolonged <laughs> thing with Mandalorians on it's that like, one. Ooh, I got sunburned. Like he takes oven. his helmet off, he's He's just a lobster underneath. <laughs> yeah, like, where's we, the butter? <laughs> speaking where's of taking the, their helmet off. Speaking of taking their helmet off, yeah. another segue here. There's another one. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't do it. Didn't, didn't do he it. didn't take it off. He he didn't do it. Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> what? See, and <sighs> that makes me wonder if he like is done. If he's done in some ways. Maybe. As far as, far as like physically showing up. Right. That maybe. makes me think that he was literally just a voice actor for this season. I think he was. He literally was just there's no you can't prove it any other way. Like he didn't right. even act in there. He, right, because he just talked about it. Yeah. It's a yeah. body double. I don't think it means yeah. he's done. I just think it means that he, he was might be booking. done physically. It means playing. he's din. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. might as well at that point if they're not taking your helmets off, though. I get it. Like, why would you Act through it it's all. It's sweaty. You're never going to see it. And maybe that's why they half <laughs> sidelined him because acting. there were conflicts or, or yeah. he had an issue with it or whether you believe the theories or the rumors or not, maybe he was <laughs> booked rumor. elsewhere, right? Wasn't he filming something else? The Last of Us. Maybe he yeah. just couldn't yeah. get there for the filming and they're like, it's okay. We'll just use your voice. And we're, yeah, this one's we're going to talk about uh, Bo anyway. That's, but that's pretty kinda, weak. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't he also doing the unbearable weight of massive talent? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe <laughs> at the very was beginning. So that was a one-year-long production, funny right? Funny movie. That movie is hilarious. Dan, you, you still haven't seen that. Have no, you? I yeah, you need that. to see. You need that. to see that. It's definitely not. Okay, caveat is not for kids. Okay? It is not. It is not well, a kids movie. Yeah. Do not watch it if you're a child. Um, but it is funny if you are an and adult. and you're saying Pedro Pascal was in that movie. Yes, yeah, that's Pascal. why that we came out in the last year. So exactly. it's hard to keep up with the production schedules and the mm-hmm. the rumors. I don't think Pedro Pascal actually wants to be off of Disney's payroll because do you imagine that check that he's cashing for using his voice? He doesn't even have to show up. Right. Yeah, but why would you? But why would you want to leave that? There is know? a pay gap though with that, but I think it's because because from what I've heard, that whole like situation that happened with Pedro in the first season or people said it was the second season but I think what actually happens in the first season they wanted to just pay him to be a voice, voice actor, actor oh. yeah, and not take off his helmet but the problem I think is that he would have been paid as a voice actor and not an actual and actor he was actually and because of like acting. because of like laws and and yeah. and, and uh, what's the thing people that group together and they form a faction and they laws what's it called Nick Huh? You're in one. No, you were. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ja, uh, the, when, when uh, unions. Unions. Oh, yeah. unions. Yeah. I don't know if it was a union thing, but. <laughs> unions. Uh, cult. It's what brings us together. <laughs> Pretty much. Today. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage. No, uh, yeah. So I think that's part of what happened there. And that's why they had yeah. to show his face at the end. So he could get that 
acting credit. And it also, for an actor, you know, like who physically portrays roles, it kind of makes sense. You know, you want to be out there. You want to be known for this. I think John Favreau wanted it to be more like what we said last night, even about like uh, Halo, where you never see his face. And you're the, you can just put yourself in that character very Mm -hmm. easily. But the problem is we've already seen his face in past seasons. Yeah. That's, yeah. They're not sticking with tradition on this one. I don't think John Favreau wanted it that way. Right. I think he wanted the other way and then that's when uh pedro was like no i need acting credit if i'm gonna be in this i want to be in it you know which makes sense i would i think and i can i can relate i would say i would want to be that too yeah. i would want to be known for the mandalorian dude if i was even involved in star wars even if i was just a voice actor i'd still be happy oh yeah for sure I'd be like I mean, dude i was in me, star yeah. wars uh, yeah if it's me now yes of course i'd just I'd be, be like, like yeah, yeah well just, you're not I, gonna get paid to be an actor you're just a voice actor <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm in, I'm Star, in Star Wars. Wars. Whatever. It's you just a weird time paid? we're living in, though, because right. like, although it's Disney you, Star Wars, and that's what really yeah. gives me the uh, what a weird Star show though, because like half of the first season there was no faces. Remember, it was just droids, yeah. uh, you know, prosthetics, and you know, stuff right. like that, puppets. For <laughs> so, most of this episode, no, first season. First season. Oh, remember first that season. they're like, like directing, the and there's like no faces. There's no, you can't get real emotions. It's just like, well, a lot of the characters that showed up. Like he, you mean him specifically? Because like even the first episode of the first season, yeah, there was that goofy guy uh, yeah. that he was his bounty, I guess you could say, and then, yeah, but that was yeah. prosthetic. But oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, it wasn't no, like an actor's exactly right. face. So when the that's what I mean. The directors that were directing were like, it's so weird. Like you turn this way, he's got a helmet on. You turn this way, it's an alien creature. You turn this way, it's a puppet. You turn this way, it's a CG robot. It's a <laughs> you know, so yeah. But it's a weird time we're living in that a he could be actor, cast right? as the main right. actor and not show his face. It's very weird. And yeah. just basically be a voice actor. Yeah. For it, it was kind of weird. Live act, for especially live action. Yeah. That's what's odd. Like usually voice acting is animated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So But going but, back to not removing his helmet, yeah. we did not I think that's why a lot of people are unsatisfied with this episode because yeah. we really did not get the Dinbo love connection that no. we wanted. Okay. There was, there was a little bit that of a we moment needed with all three that, of them. <laughs> but yeah, agreed. It, it wasn't what we wanted. But it did it, it was, was this, the Taco Bell. Yeah. It wasn't satisfying. It was to for what it was. For right. those that moment. But I wanted more. But they could have really faction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Italian. He needs a little love in his life. Right, right, Dan. <laughs> right, Sam. <laughs> right, Samuel. I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> oh man, that's no, he's good, on the run. That's a good story you got to tell. Yeah, we got. We'll do it. We'll do a right podcast now, with we'll do, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Not right now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just one of our funny stories we came up with. It's hilarious. It's We're comedians. Like no, but I think we got. Well, we got some pretty cool Dinbo. Um, yeah. In the sense, in the in the space that they were in, right? They never right. gave them the chance to shine intimately. You know what I mean? Heart to heart talk. Other than the one on the ship, that was as close yeah. as we or got. The, the boat. That's as close. You know what I'm saying? Like we were hoping there maybe would be like, okay, we can decompress for like just a minute, just one minute of them talking, like human to human, no stress. Congrats on reuniting Mandalore. Congrats on your, you know what I mean? I'm going back to Navarro now. If you need anything, call me. Right. You know, they bump helmets or, you know what I'm saying? Or either. You need me, call me. That's the extra minute or two that would have been satisfying for me. How far? (laughs) Copyright. You know, but but I will say, though, that that moment when the fire blew over them. Yes. That is, that's pretty cinematic special right yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. that was man. because that reminds me of uh Rogu, the last airbender wasn't there something similar in rebels with like ezra no, no, or yeah no it was uh, it was kanan it was kanan oh it was kanan, kanan, kanan died, holding right? the fire whoa right. whoa <laughs> i mean dude they it, it's been out but that's also but there might be some new star wars we've fans. also said this in the past yeah stream. no but i'm just saying that that moment was reminiscent of of other things that we've seen and and for them in that yeah. moment like you said they were always under stress like they're surviving and they're running and but they're communicating with each other mm-hmm. like it was nice that Den got away quickly and she was able to still talk to him right because we thought they wouldn't reunite till the end of the episode right yeah 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 so but they were still kind of communicating you're like oh you kind of forget that they have that communication device they're still it's only texting each other right? yeah just, <laughs> we're oh. still gonna ship that <laughs> I thought I lost you <laughs> they just can't say it over the, the intercom right yeah you know, texting in code. They're texting in code. <laughs> well, Morse code action. 
Whoa. Everybody yeah, good points, coffee. though, Dan, for I sure. Yeah, I, that, I'd say that was satisfying for me. It just didn't take it the, the all the way with like a hug or just some sort of embrace. I think that's all we needed, and we would have known. All right? Yeah, like, They're a hey. couple. But look at the power couple in that, though. And it was like a nice little family, you know, that was we'll under that family. Avatar air bubble. Avatar that air kept, bubble. Uh, <laughs> kept the flame. I've been watching that show. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> and it really reminded me of that, because that happens yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, that was cool to see all three of them, A, working together. That was a nice touch, which is like they were reading our minds in some ways. Because like I think a lot of the things we said in last night's stream in Mando Eve, we were like, all right, we have to, Din has to come back. Like he, yeah. he can't, you know, the only person that could possibly rec rescue him is Grogu. I think that's one of the things we said. Like yeah. that would make sense. And and or, or rescue himself. Times. Yeah. For the most part, he rescued himself. And that was Which some I of the best action and fighting in this mm -hmm. entire mm -hmm. Series. I yeah. was extremely Season. happy about that. Right. Yeah, like that choreography. Whoever did the choreography for him getting out of that was epic. I loved that choreography. Like yes. all those like sweet tuck and roll moves that he was doing, and yeah. like the kick the knee. That was pretty sweep much the leg. Was. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Da -na 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 -na. That's a sweet yeah, song. Um, that was awesome. It was. That was awesome. Really, really good. And so that that was one thing. You know, Din and I'd say Din and Bo in this were equals for the most part. She saved yeah. his life, but then you know they were returning the favor back yeah. and forth. Plus, we got Grogu using the Force, keeping them all alive. I say Grogu. Like it was a really good dynamic, and it just leaned into the fact that at the end they should have all been together. That yeah. was like the thing. Like, yeah, it should have been. It should be Grogu, Din, and. A bow against the galaxy at that point. Yep. Maybe not against, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, but that's basically what we got. It you was, know, but not. Was it? Not, but, but it was a snippet, was not all the it way. It didn't keep going. Yeah, okay. Just, I guess I'm thinking like in that not. final battle with Moff Gideon. Yeah, was I'm the, talking the, the final battle, but I'm saying at the very they end. They needed of the episode, to okay, continue, continue that. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, right. Hey, we we're a good team. We that's what I'm. I 100 agree. That's the extra five minutes of of stuff yeah. that would have really been sad. Like sink your teeth into that. Yes. Because mm -hmm. yes. there's the family that we want in Star Wars. Yeah. There's the moment, and then it leads into the the daddy son moment that we talk about later. But the three of them together embracing under the fire was really epic. Well, they weren't embracing. They were just like... They were, <laughs> it would have been better if they were. Right. But right. it was weird because then all of a sudden, then Din and Grogu, like, like it felt like the whole season, Bo was way up here, right? Yeah. And then at the very, the end, very end, it's yeah. like, she's way down here and they're up here again. That's what I'm saying. Like, like it took, they never... <laughs> they it never, took the whole season for you to figure out whose show it was. Right. Yeah. It was like, oh, suddenly, now he's going to start fighting back and... Not being a Denzel in distress, <laughs> he finally like, realized in the world. it was. He's his like, "Oh show. yeah, oh, this is my show. I gotta get going now." Yeah, <laughs> I was on break that whole time. Right? Let's yeah. kick it into overdrive. It, it was and just break silly. everybody's knee, and let's have him fight literally yeah. every guard. In, right? <laughs> in that place, that was so funny. Yeah. yeah, it was a delicate balance though, because she had her chance to lead her Mandalorians, the right. Night Owls, and the Watch. <clears throat> that was with a cool the dark fight. saver. Are you kidding cool me? That was a sick fight. They put some time and thought into that battle. Yeah. Um, and the armorer showed up. And the armor showed up. And the armorer wasn't a spy. Wasn't yeah, a what, spy. yeah. No, there what, was, was no other spy. spy. And yeah. we were like freaking yeah. out about the spy situation <laughs> yeah. all week and long. And there was no spy. Yeah. And that's why I kept thinking I was in some ways. I didn't say that, but I, I still got it wrong because I thought it was the armor. Yeah. But uh, I'm just saying it was like all of our theories are going to be way better than, way what, we <laughs> than what we get. Well, I mean, you almost you almost did call it. You're like, I don't think they're smart enough to do that. <laughs> I did. And they weren't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in they some ways, be dumb. Yeah. they just didn't take that risk. I, I, you know, that's they played a I, lot that's of my biggest, safe. That's, that's my biggest complaint about this episode. Yep. There was nothing that, you know. Was like, oh yeah, they that was cool, or that was really stupid. They risked all the wrong things. Yeah, <laughs> they did that in episode six, though, and it was really <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they Where was that right. droid running to in episode six? Which droid? The Which one, one that was trying to get away oh, from the one that shouldn't be able to run like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a track star, the superhuman runner. That. I was what like, what where's he going? Yeah, we got. We don't know. Oh, all right, that, that's a side tangent. <laughs> that's what, that's where the show goes really bad. Yeah. But but we're touching on some pros though right yeah. now though the action was solid man I think we mm -hmm. need to really 100. acknowledge the fact 100. that, that whoever was doing who was in the suit it's Brendan Wayne and who's the other actor I know there's another one that uh, does a lot of the physical Bruce work Wayne <laughs> well but we did predict Bruce last Wayne. night that there like what a, what would be satisfying for us yes is yeah, it yeah, didn't just wreck shop 
Yeah, yeah, he did. And then like, boom, they jump into it and we're like, oh, here we are. He's getting dragged away. Oh, no, he's fighting. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. I thought someone was coming to save him. Like yeah. He was yep. going to get tortured a little. Yeah. Tortured. Beat yeah. up. And the helmet, we thought the helmet was going to come off there. Maybe yeah. waterboarding. Right. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah. arguably more interesting. In some Matt ways. likes torture. But then the way that he was able to just beat up on some fools was very, that was very was satisfying. Sad. That yeah. part was satisfying. Well, but, but then, then he fights sorry, yeah, Moff Gideon yeah. and he's like a punk. He kind of got like, punked, yeah. Dude, what are you doing? But he was also pretty powerful in his like exosuit. I guess. Kind of and Din had already fought all of the guards and right. the he, red shield He was area. tired. That's true. Come on, <laughs> expending energy and doesn't do the same thing Bo-Katan in the Star Wars couldn't universe. do anything herself. They needed both of them to take him out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so think I about the, well, that. Technically, they needed Axe Wolves to take him out. Yeah. yeah. Think about I the timeline, though. Also yeah. not a spy. Yeah. If so. you jump into battle. <laughs> yeah, also not a spy. The battle <laughs> like started the when they survived getting that mo- monster killing them. They yeah. ran down into that tunnel. Like five minutes later, here comes all of the... Mm-hmm. Dark, what are they called? Everybody. Death Troopers or whatever? Dark Troopers. Dark are, Troopers. Are they Dark Troopers? Yeah. yeah. Dark troopers. And then that battle finishes. They run through the corridor. He fights against a couple more guards, gets taken into submission. He has like five minutes to breathe while he's getting yeah. a lecture from Moff Gideon at the end of the last episode. He's mm-hmm. dragged away. He's fighting again. He's fighting again. It's just like, at that yeah. time, how was it? Like three hours of right. solid battle. He'd be right. tired. And he's been torched. He's been punched. He's been kicked. <laughs> he just Electrocuted. keeps getting back up. Well, the yeah. crazy thing too is like he was being dragged away for a while apparently for a long enough of Paz to be killed because like yeah, true. if he would have done that a little sooner he might have been able to help Paz out. Yep, you know. But they also, hope- how did Grogu get there? Yeah, people are asking in the chat what yeah, who was not did. watching Grogu? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> snuck away. That and was how big, did he sneak away? Know, He's a ninja, bro. Because the Praetorian he used guards the force to yeah. find him. That, that that's uh, again been yeah. one of my biggest yeah, qualms with questions. this entire season is yeah. they, well, they 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 yeah. like they want to just you got to turn off your brain in some ways but Star yeah. Wars has never really been that way Star Wars well in some ways it, it has but but they usually take the time to explain things I, yeah. I'd say like George Lucas always right. made sure that things were explained enough that you weren't questioning everything you yeah. know like how did this happen and it, all it takes is like a, a one off scene or in the battle or whatever you just show a quick snippet of somebody walking off i mean that stuff yep. you could you could film after the fact too you know even after you got it together like oh shoot we didn't really explain that very well i think they it it feels lazy in some ways to yeah. me that they don't explain it in a in a way yeah. that's satisfying and especially in this episode it just it felt super rushed yeah like they like we gotta that's get to bizarre. This. Yeah. Like, bizarre. Like we gotta end this because Ahsoka's coming up. I think they Even filmed it. I think they filmed away. all that stuff. I think they filmed extra takes maybe with Din and, and Bo together. Maybe. I, I feel like they, they they I don't think they writing the story didn't have that. I just think in the edit, like we don't have time for that. Let it yeah. go. They just kept trimming and kept trimming. Yeah, but then yeah. but then you get episodes like mm-hmm. episode six. And yeah. you're like, why don't you trim that? I yeah. think it's because it was a different director three. and they didn't yeah. want to step on like other directors' toes and their creative thoughts on things how, and stuff like that. How long was that episode? Episode six? Was that longer than this six? episode? Six, I'm pretty sure yeah. it was longer than oh, this man. episode. So that's yeah. ridiculous. That's painful. Yeah. And also, it was Latif Crowder that was the other stunt double for Din. Oh, Latif. nice. Latif Crowder. Yeah. Yep, Latif. that's awesome. I wonder... Crowder. Yeah, I want to know almost in some <clears throat> ways who did like the action sequences and who does... The, I think Brendan, they both do, right? Because mm-hmm. they're both stunt... Double, yeah, so. and Latif is um, Jane Doe said um, specifically a martial artist. Okay, so he definitely martial was, arts specialist. So he was definitely doing those moves then. Yeah. So, oh, so like me, they tag. They were tag teaming, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, man, wow, man. Matt's talking so, himself up. So over like here. me, yeah, so like me. Like they were tag chisel, teaming, right? Like the first jaw, hour. Man. Like Brendan Wayne did all the fighting, and then he just tagged out. Yeah, and, and he's like, jumps in. He's like, I'm winded. I need you to take on Moff for this part. I'll, I'll give me five minutes. Yeah, give me five minutes. I think I broke my back. Yeah, I'll finish him off. <laughs> I've fallen so many times. And finish him off. Yeah. I've done so many barrel rolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of rolling around. Yeah, but it was okay, awesome. Can we get speaking of ships, Matt, oh. over there? Oh, can we get to that part with Axe Wolves in the ship? Yeah. Why in the world did he have to ride the ship? Down because he, the way he down. wanted to ride yeah. down, so he didn't have to jetpack all the way down. I get the that, but like it Come was just kind of goofy. Yeah, he's right. like, I Oh, don't... everybody get out of here. I'm gonna stay with the ship because reasons. Yeah, because we thought maybe he was. It's like, like Okay, <laughs> why? I'm not gonna explain it. I'm just gonna show up at the last second and jump out. <laughs> uh, all right, 
Yeah, it, was I, this the plan the whole time, or did see, you just make it up as you went? Well, it was funny because it was almost like they were playing it like he was going down with the ship. So you're right. like, oh, that sucks yeah. in some ways. And yeah. obviously, and he's maybe not a spy. He wrote, is he? Is he? <laughs> if you think about it, though, maybe he rode the ship down because he wanted to steer it to where he, just he, wanted, he yeah. planned it. He planned it. Assuming he planned it, he wrote it down. That makes sense. But he needed to warn him. And he wouldn't have beat the ship down flying, so he had to ride with it down to be able to get into conversation with yeah. him. That's a good point. To tell true, him, true, to warn true. him. Like, if you like, think about it. Yo, Maybe. I'm here, and the, the, the ship and is jump, here, and it's going to explode everything. Get out of there. <laughs> We're going to die. We're all going to die. Also, where'd all the uh, interceptors go? Uh, that's a great yeah. question. Did they that, just leave afterwards? They were like, yes. that well, is, they didn't even show it. They didn't even show it. They that's another sh- thing. Yeah. <laughs> they only showed one blowing up. <laughs> like, oh, my Yeah, right? It's like... Wow! Did he take like, them what? all out before right? he like went back into I the? I can't planet? imagine. Yeah, but he must have. Because what was that? There? Is 10, a huge like miss right there. There was like there was more than fifty. There was like thirty of them. Yeah, they there showed was, way more. Like, we thought there was like six, like eight. Yeah, there six probably, or eight. I think there was like t- I think there was like twelve of them. They yeah. just multiplied. And then suddenly there's a whole hive of them, and we're like. Uh, where'd these come from? And the funniest thing, though, when we were watching in some ways was how they were deploying. We just all thought, <laughs> what if one of those, instead of like like dropping and flying, this was just like, right. oh my gosh. <laughs> that would have oh, been so funny. Oh, that's oh, funny. Man, that would have been hilarious. Ah. Uh, is it lagging? So yeah, it's buffering. Sorry, we're having a little buffering. bit of technical difficulties. You might be experiencing either some <laughs> lagging. I think or, we're good. Or it, it was down for just a half second. But we're honestly, good. yeah, I yeah, think right, it's just there's so many people watching that it just slogs it up. <laughs> it slogs that it can't up. be. Stop it, watching. No, <laughs> no, don't no, say that. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. I told you. I people, keep people in the comments. Have, level. We'll get to the chat here in a minute. Everybody's doing a great job yeah. of filling in our questions for us, and it's really good to see some of this stuff. So. But that X Wolf saying people thought he should have died, maybe. Yeah, it just, I think that, it made sense that he didn't. For yeah, the fact that he has a jetpack and you can survive in, right. in space. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, really that was, was another there one. There really was no point in him dying, really. Yeah, there wasn't. But yeah. there was. <laughs> Unless it was emotional weight again. Somebody on yeah, the, but the watch yeah. dies now. Somebody on the on both yeah. side dies. You know? Paz has already died, so we're good. Which still feels kind of unnecessary, Check. to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling. He could have like, lived. He could have taken out the Praetorians I, easily. Well, I mean, Din was fighting him all right, only for a sec, actually. And yeah. He didn't do very good either. Yeah. <laughs> well, his problem, he didn't have the sword or any. He didn't like, have a sword. Yeah, he had like nothing. Yeah. Did you guys? Uh, were you guys disappointed? John Pope's asking if uh, we didn't get a proper space battle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a tie fighter. We got thing. a snippet of it. Yeah. But it, it was great. It looks solid. Yeah, it looks yeah. really it looks good. Solid. Yeah, it's just interesting that all the reinforcements didn't even. None of the ships went off to fight the. No, to help them out. They just even. went down to the planet surface. <laughs> well, they that- just went to drop all the reinforcements. I, I get it, but like maybe one or two could hang out and at least help defend the light cruiser yeah. since he was by himself. Right, and that's a valuable ship. I would it think is. so. And it still seems like how good he was doing in that ship alone. If he would have had some like. Mandalorian, Mandalorian just ships. Ships. you, yeah. Those Star other ships, ones with yeah. them, I feel like they could have taken them out by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a problem. And they could have possibly saved the light cruiser. Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely. It, it, that was a that was definitely a big miss right there. Like, a, where did they yeah. go? What happened? Like, yeah. why didn't they come back to the planet and just bomb the it's heck out of them? Quite all? peculiar. And Dark peculiar? Lord, I didn't pronounce that right. Peculiar. <laughs> peculiar. And Dark Lord agreed yeah. with us. Julia. English is hard. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Dan. Uh, agreed with us that he thought that he was going to call Moff Gideon when he got alone on yeah. the ship. That's yeah, what we were thinking, cool. too, yeah, and it we never were. happened. Yo, he bro, just looked up? like he was what's constipated cool? in his yeah, toilet like, <laughs> seat. He's like, <laughs> he's like, no, this is the worst time to have to go to the bathroom. He's like, <laughs> auto cannons fire. <laughs> they, they, yeah. They pause for a commercial break. Right. He's like, I need an overactive bladder. Yeah, right. I'm just, the guy who was Shaq. Whoever Axe Wolves' uh, actor is, he's a good actor. Yeah. I feel yeah. like every scene that he was in, he didn't have a lot to do, but in this one, he had a little bit more. I like his voice, the yeah, way he inflects voice. as a commanding Mandalorian. Gravitas, I think. Yeah. Is Gravitas is the word. Good. He seems like a Good legit ideas. actor. I don't know what else he's in. He's probably in something else everybody else has watched, but then yeah. I haven't. But he seems like a <laughs> legit actor. Yeah. And he brought weight to the scenes that he was in. Well, and he had that chant at the end. And I think yeah. anybody else doing that chant would not have been nearly as yes. good as him yep. yelling that chant. I think the awesome. only other option would have been uh, Paz Vizsla, but he died. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think his jetpack could have made it to outer atmosphere. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> they never really—they like, oh, never again. gave us any closure like, on it. that. 
on Somebody Paz said, at all. No. Somebody said justice yeah, for Paz. Some, mm-hmm. so yeah. Like, you think they could have mentioned that in the dipping in the waters? There was with, a comment in there up above that I said think, something about that they uh, had like a funeral type thing for Quail. Quill. Quill. And not the and for, not Paz. Yeah. And he did nothing with Paz. And no one asked about Paz either. Yeah, no. And, no. They, and they showed Ragnar at the end. That's what yeah. I mean. Mm-hmm. They, never, they could have said, in honor of your, your like, father. foundling father, yeah. Paz. Yeah. What a way. Ragnar, what? we're going to refinish this. You know, he all he wanted to, I don't know. They could have said something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they kind of left that out there. I didn't even think about that. But right. poor Paz. They left a lot out. He just got annihilated. I wonder if that's a sign. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll, you're going to leave. No. Well, whatever, dude. No, you're was, out. Yeah. See well, it's like, because John Favreau's out and Disney's like, well, we're just going to treat your character like garbage then. Right? Favreau's not out. I just think he wanted... I think he was tired of writing his own character. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> I think he just wanted out as far as like he up I with another in character. In some ways, he wanted some emotional weight. But if you're going to do the emotional weight, follow yeah. up on There's got to be some closure. Yeah. There. Right. I think there's... I think there's other scenes that they filmed. Maybe that they he's not dead. Yeah, in. Well, and like, why make it so Deleted short? Scenes. That's right. the thing. Like, why? If you film that, why cut that out? Right. Or did right. they just not think of it? Or give us some deleted scenes in the extra bonus of features of the Mandalorian. Just give us some yeah. deleted scenes. Or give us an end credit scene. If end I, credit scene would if, have been nice. If just completely missing. Star Wars fans are thinking, how can they not think of it? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, Something that's what so I'm saying. Simple like, and obvious. I don't. Th- I think they just didn't do it. Or yeah. didn't want to take the they just, time yeah, to do it. Yeah, they were like, yeah, what a waste of time. It's we're just, not doing it's, this. It feels like laziness. It's lazy writing. Or like, was it yeah. just they're burned out because of all the drama behind the scenes, so they just needed an easy but season. it's taken two years. Bur- They've had two years. How are they burned out? Like, They've had a good, yeah, it just, it's an all-encompassing story, and this one's like, it's full of holes everywhere, and there's leaks. Yeah, it's like a, it's like and they're a forgetting stuff. Head. Like they, yeah. they really need the <laughs> common sense department for Star Wars, for yeah. Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm needs a common sense department. But that's what you're here for. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We are Seriously, Lucasfilm, if we'll you're out there listening, you up the we will be your common sense department. <laughs> <laughs> then again, we'll be like, that makes no sense. Well, how did they get them. from point A to point B? Oh, we don't have time to deal with that. People <laughs> people don't care. You don't even have we to pay care. And be like, okay, we'll make our own episode and you make yours and see who likes which one better. <laughs> yeah, right. seriously. Right at, yeah. yeah. Son. But yeah, there was no end credit scene. Yeah, and I was like, thing. What? "Dude, what? Where are they going? What are they doing?" Uh, yeah, okay, he's gonna go work <laughs> for the New Republic, but like, you can only do that for so long, and then the the right. it, the season's just gonna be redundant after a certain point. Mm-hmm. You're like, "Oh, look, we're on to another Imperial remnant horde that we got to kill." What's after this? Oh, there's another one. Oh, cool. I'm I'm going to do this until I die, aren't I? Yep. That's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> it really feels like this entire season. We're going was... back to Mandalore? No. What? Are we going to see Bo Katan again? No. We're just going to go hunt down Imperial remnants. And that's that's your <laughs> legacy. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's it just feels like this season in a lot of ways. Like the ending of the season almost <clears throat> it almost made me feel uneasy in some ways. <laughs> like that I... sounds weird, but but it almost feels like this entire season was just like a step out of the path that is like Din Djarin. You yeah, know, and, you know what I think season. happened too? Is, like I said, I think I said last night, gr- Disney got their grubby little hands I in I think it, that's part of it. And now they have no idea where they're going. Well, they're, I think, and there's no through line. Well, so they're literally just going to sh- everywhere and uh, everything all at once. <laughs> my theory is that I think Disney, because what we saw at Star Wars Celebration is for the first time, they actually do have somewhere that they're going. They have this giant timeline with 50 properties that they're trying to connect now. Yeah, if they Whereas don't sabotage the f- every single one of them before it gets made, yeah. like they've already done. Agreed. Agreed. But I'm just saying the first two episodes were s- seasons were standalone. You can write whatever you want because it's never connecting to anything. Well, yeah. And no, then it all of a sudden, to a lot of it things. was connecting to uh, big picture stuff. Yeah, right. it, it connected quite well. I'd say the first two seasons connected quite well. Sorry, we're playing devil's advocate for you, Dan. I'm just, can, I'm saying, look at the timeline. They got. Like 50 Consult shows, movies now. So now everything has to work toward that goal. That yeah. final movie that they're working toward. The Ahsoka show. Blah, blah, blah. So they have to weave in now. It's not just Mandalorian show anymore. Sorry. This is the, the Disney Mando Filoni verse, which we have always actually wanted. But yeah. unfortunately, I think Mando took a little bit of a 
dip because he had to serve the greater universe now. He couldn't just be his own thing, which is a miss. It's obviously a mistake. Right. They just didn't handle it the right way. But they didn't know how to handle it because they're trying to build on something that was already great. And they dumped all this extra stuff on there. And they're like, oh, well, that's actually going to connect to Ahsoka. You'll see. Or that's going to connect to what's the other? Boba uh, Fett. Boba Fett. Or that's going to connect to the one with the kids. Uh, skeleton, skeleton crew. crew, you know, and that's going to connect to the movie down the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're trying well, to build all this stuff. Rangers of the Republic. Rangers of the Republic. That got, that got sidelined. So they brought in some up. of that, right? It's not shelved. It's not shelved. <laughs> it's not shelved, yeah. So is, anyway, I think so that's part of, honestly, what the thing is here. And that's yeah. not that they didn't know where they were going. It's that they think they know where they're going now, but they don't. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, and that it just, you there are so many holes to fill yeah. in all of that that they forget to step back and look at the big picture from... Yeah you know, the viewer's point of view, yeah. not just well, the, what they know is going to happen. It makes me super worried for season four because I think they're going to botch it up and then they're going to have, they're going to be at a point of no return. They're going to do something and nobody's going to like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what kind of makes me feel uneasy in some ways is because really yeah. it could go either way. In yeah. some ways, the way they ended it is almost like they're trying to get back to just what Din. made the Mandalorian great in the first yeah, place just was just Din. Din and Grogu on adventures. Yeah. And that's what they kept like hammering in at the end. They were like, in between adventures, you know, and stuff like that. They're like, we need adventures. We need this. We need that. Adventures. Yeah. Just you and Grogu. Like the the, uh, the armor said it. And I then it was also like he said that to Carson Teva. And then at the end, Grief Karga said, in between adventures. Like, so they're setting up just the two of them in a lot of ways. So I, it, that makes me feel good, but then at the same point, the way they ended the season at like total neutral, yeah, we're like they didn't choose a side, so we don't. <laughs> they just went right no. down the middle. Yeah, it's like we they literally could go anywhere that they yeah. want to from here, which is good and bad. Just didn't really, I don't know, didn't really feel like it set much up. Yeah, yeah. There, Hunter Davis said, "I'm oh, sorry, Matt." No, go ahead. Said it has more holes than Jack Sparrow's ship. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sinking it 10 does. times faster. Stop blowing holes in me shit. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Matt? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, where was the mythosaur? Why didn't it show up? Uh, they showed it. Yeah, but, but that's not Yeah, a but like, weak sauce. It's not They've been hitting it all season, and then they just show could you even? Could you imagine seconds? if it just yeah. jumps out of the planet like while they're fighting? Or like yeah, and in that uh, I was yeah where the base was right, and it we, just shows up, and you're like, this is amazing. <laughs> How much more satisfying? No. Yeah, I think we should have had an '80s music start rolling in as he's getting dipped in the waters. Yep, and then da 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 da, and then some, it just like, pops synth, its head and then out. it just pops out, yeah. and then it freeze frames at the mythosaur, and everybody's Wait, like, <laughs> no, no, everybody's like jumping back, and the mythosaur's jumping out trying to eat Ragnar, and then it plays out with Wait, like a what? yeah, you know, like a <laughs> funny end, really like '80s yeah. style. Yeah. Like they're all in the air, fro- freeze framed, and right. Like, oh Ragnar gosh. played by you know, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like 80s That's what I'm saying. And it ends with the mythosaur making his appearance. Oh man, <laughs> turns into a comedy. I think rather than comedy, yeah. crashing the ship down on uh, yes, yeah, Loch Gideon, yeah, Do mythosaur it, should have flown up. That's what and I thought. Ate him, yes. from underneath. That way we would have known he's actually dead. Yeah, but you uh, know what it means. That well, oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Matt. No, you were saying that way you know he's actually dead, but. People have survived in animal stomachs. In That's this show. that is true. <laughs> Ragnar, we're looking at you. Ragnar, we're looking at- <laughs> he's invincible. Ragnar's like been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, he's weak small. sauce. Weak sauce. <laughs> Just like this. Yeah, th- season. That's the funny thing. Again, I think that's why sometimes somehow we feel almost unsatisfied because. A lot of our theories and ideas, like I said yesterday, are better than what we got. Yeah. Not that it's, it's bad. They greatness. just played it super safe, but also not interesting. Not as interesting as it could have been. Yeah. That's part of what it feels like. Because I, de- I agree. I think Grogu, Mythosaur, you know, Bo, Din, all of them like need the Mythosaur to like yeah. take out. And then that, I felt like that would have really launched the new age. Mm-hmm. of the Mandalorians. Like you almost needed that like like almost that's almost like spiritual but also like a sign. Yeah. A spiritual sign like that the new Mandalore is back. The Mandalorians yeah. are back. And yeah. that's like but it's been written in the songs. So that uh, that it was a huge miss. They showed him but or her him whatever the mythosaur. Uh but what a weak sauce way to show him. You know yeah. what I mean? In some ways. Gro- it was still it's Grogu like oh Grogu sensed him. Yeah, that, like, that connection was so? cool. I feel like <laughs> 
It was yeah, cool, but it was just sense, like... But it wasn't enough. You should have done that like 20 minutes earlier and yeah. had that like Grogu sense him and then help him out. Well, yeah. it's another sign where like they, they, they baited us with something that we're like, that's going to be an epic moment. And then they, and deli- and then they neutralized it. Yep. And then they're like, that's going to be an epic moment. Bowden kissing, neutralized. And then they're like, Mythosaur, yeah. neutralized. Gideon's going to die a fiery death maybe neutralized you know yeah oh clones maybe popping out you know i mean all the all the through lines the spy showing thrawn at the ending you know Mm. we wanted all this because of course we want all of that right but they kind of did in some ways neutralize it now i was still satisfied but because i it's getting harder and harder to be satisfied though. right you keep making these points and (laughs) i don't think i want to go back to taco bell (laughs) (laughs) right wow no no i know i'm circle i I appreciate what they did because i know that making these things is absolutely insanely difficult right yeah we do have to say that yeah for sure it's It's not not easy at all it's not easy to do but there's you know but this this is the first sign where there's like rumblings of something something why did everything have to end up so like Neutral. Children show neutral, like yeah. milk toast. Like almost, it would have been better if, <laughs> not really, but Bo and Din were like, well, one of them's gonna die. Like yesterday, ninety percent of the people in the chat, including yeah. us, were like, one of them's dying. Who's dying? Even yeah. in it's gonna this, be heavy. Even we're in mad this that, <laughs> yeah. episode, I was considering. No, yeah, yeah. Maybe Din Bo, was gonna die. Yeah, yeah. or Din. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We thought Just Din was gonna of how die. Yep. He was around Grogu there. Yeah, but but we did get some emotional weight. Like they they leaned into that. Like we're like, oh snap, Din's gonna die. Or Bo. When when mm-hmm. the dark saber got smashed, we gotta talk about right. that. That was crazy. Yeah. You thought she was gonna I no thought she dark. this might be the end of her right here. Right. And then when Grogu disappeared in the room with the Praetorian yeah. guards, we're like, Grogu's gonna her. eat it. Right. <laughs> and then Din was about to die seven times. He's like Rocky though. He just always yeah, bounced back. He He's like Obi Wan. That was like the best thing of Obi Wan. Or yes. the, the strongest point of Obi Wan was the fact that he could get knocked down so many times, but it didn't matter what. He always stayed good, and he always got up and mm-hmm. fought for good every time. That's what made Obi Wan such a good character. Fight for good. It's ever not in the Obi Wan series. He's yeah, that, they ruined oh, it. Oh, don't talk about it. Sorry, <laughs> it makes you want to throw up. Bad taste. But, <laughs> that's like a bad but it was, experience. <laughs> it's funny though, because then it was like, yeah, they all they played into all of our speculations for the fact that like mm-hmm. we thought. Oh, oh, maybe that's going to die. Oh, that's going to... Okay, no, none of them died. The top, okay, cool. The, what are we the doing? The plot armor is thick in this yep. world. Maybe all three of them are going to die. The force is strong the with these ones. <laughs> right. I don't know. Uh, is, but that's kind of, again, what makes it it's unsatisfying in some ways. Yep. It just doesn't play it very interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we lost the Darksaber. Yeah, well, we did. Yeah. We got. So who There's rules Mandalore? Kyber, how, does well, that, how does that work? I think that's what they, he made the point, right? He said, you guys are nothing without your trinkets. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, that was maybe the the lesson of this whole show. Like, Kinda who was. is Din without all of his weapons? Who is Bo without her Darksaber? Well, that's, yeah, but they fight better together. Uh, yeah. Mm. Exactly. And, and that's, that's where, she said. See, yeah. that's why for me, it was satisfying in the end battle because the yeah. three of them were on that platform fighting for their lives, helping each other. It was like almost, uh, you know, Marvel-esque with the three heroes right. you know, weaving in and out. Like the, when the Avengers, other, the Avengers yeah. no, it was, for the first time. The yeah. end was fight cool. was satisfying until yeah. how they killed uh, <laughs> You didn't Mark like that. Gideon. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. really ever gone. <laughs> it, like I wanted, I want to know he's dead. Yeah. I, I want to see his see, burning carcass. I wanted to see <laughs> the Darksaber through his chest. Yeah. See him passed through no <laughs> too soon yeah too, oh too soon you justice for Paz, man <laughs> yeah but no dead reva dead reva's actually yeah because yeah. that's the thing but is he just gonna show up as like another right like, Saturday is, morning? Is, there, you want is there another clone out there somewhere like that does he too. have a bunch more also yeah like he had what 10 no maybe 15 those are and the that, only clones he's got yeah, like, really? like he literally made 16 clones of put himself. them all there and gave him a specific button on a control panel yeah. to yeah. destroy them all within the matter of 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> that you can and then it it's all yeah. of them. Also, yeah. yeah, I totally saw that jump scare coming with yeah, the eyeballs. Yeah, we did. I'm like, yeah, that really, is. guys? That's going to open it. Are going to play into said, a horror trope right now? Some people said in the chat uh, that the, the actual Gideon that died was a clone. It could. No. You never know, dude. Like, honestly, is, is that what they're going to do with this show? Yeah, he's just Gip, gonna be Mop the big Gideon bad the whole time. There. It's like, Mop. oh wow, I've killed you at least five times. This has got to be the real one now. So they're they're, popping up like daisies. Like daisies. <laughs> I want it, get, <laughs> dude. It's gonna get old so quick. That's the problem. Like, <laughs> just stop. So that's the problem with me. Even in Moff Gideon, with this ending, it, he just 
Like I liked Moff Gideon in season one and season two, but he's just like the the wart that won't go away yeah. in some ways. Like, like he just like, keeps yeah. popping up. Well, like, we didn't he, get any backstory to further his lore. We exactly. wanted, we wanted they, maybe they, they didn't say anything maybe about his background. Yeah, maybe he's a Mandalorian. Right. That's what I'm saying. But that kind of stuff we should have got earlier in the season if they were going to do it. Yeah, another like neutral, right? He's just the same villain. He's gonna. He's got clones now because that's kind of what the Star Wars universe is all about. And yeah. You know, so but they can play it like he's not dead, and he's not dead. I think he's for sure coming back. <sighs> yeah, in season do you guys think four. I think he's coming back too. I, I don't think I he's have, dead. They're gonna beat a dead horse. Or they My can percentage play. Percentage yeah. of whether he's coming back or not is higher than yeah, not. Coming yeah, back. Exactly. honestly, I I would. What's the chat think? Let us know in the chat. Do you think? Do you think he's dead or do you think he's still alive? Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Be, like a seventy-five. These stuff and things says Gideon always comes back. Gideon yeah, always comes back. See, that's the. Problem. I'm worried at that point. Because it's just gonna. Get if they old. bring people back- are gonna get burnt out and be like, okay, this show sucks now. Like, get another villain. Here's yeah, the thing, though. If, what if if Thrawn shows up in Ahsoka? Uh, could would there be a tie-in? Would that be more satisfying if Gideon all of a sudden became tied in with Thrawn? And that would make it definitely a lot more right. interesting. But the problem is at this point, I'm just like seeing Gideon again. In any regard, now right. is going to feel. It's going to be like, oh look, there's a clone. Yeah, I didn't see this coming at all. They're going to have to make what it. What a so, twist! They're going to make. They're going to have to give his character some depth because we have zero depth for this character. Yeah, and it is. That's what's making it so unsatisfying. That's yeah. why. That's why Thanos was such an interesting yeah. villain, and why they played it so right. well is because he had dynamic. He had a background. You you understood exactly. where he was coming from. Yeah. You were like almost rooting for him in a weird way. You weren't, but you he was relatable. Mm-hmm. And that was the thing with Moff Gideon. He is not relatable at all. He's just like the Saturday morning like villain of the week. <laughs> yeah. But he just won't go away. And then <laughs> half of the people really, in yeah. the chat, well, no, more than half say uh, they want him to be dead. Yeah. But yeah. a good well, amount are saying uh, Gideon will come back because Disney's stupid says if he's stuffing things. Kazi Koto yeah. says just let Moff die and have Thrawn as big bad trying to take back Mandalore. Yeah. yeah. Sergeant Sarcasm, I think he's still alive because of Disney. Uh, Art Wolf, dead Moff. Tekaniable says he thinks he's dead. He might be dead because how, how would he literally get out of there? Yes, he got torched, but he then like, yeah. what does he have any ships? I guess one of those tie things could have come back and got him. Yeah, uh, and all That's, the chaos. That explain where the yeah. interceptors. Well, went. and we've established that like Mandalorian jetpacks can break yeah. out of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, right. Hunter Davis. So, and, yeah, he could just be gone. Yeah, uh, and that was so flames. Like the flames yeah. could have like over, started to overtake him, and then he shot out through the jet with his jetpack. Yeah, and yeah. just yep. blasted right out of there. Yep. It's, and then, yeah, TIE Fighter or whatever. I think it was an intentional Disney neutral. It was. They're like, we don't, we're not going to commit to killing him. They we're not going to commit to showing you They can't kill alive. people on screen. They can't They commit. can't do it. Yeah. Unless it's a robot. Well, and that's... The, uh, that's why Infinity War was so good. Let's yes. jump because yeah. we're like, they're dead. Oh, my goodness. Right. And then they left it for like a yeah. year. And you're, well, we knew they weren't all like well, dead, no. dead. Although they did. We didn't know how they were going to. They did actually. actually dead Honestly, dead. Yeah. I One thought it would have been a great ending at that point. Me too. And then yeah, they were like, oh, let's go back in time and do this thing. And I was like, yeah, but and then, then the sacrifice doesn't Iron mean Man. anything. Infinity War was probably the best of like almost the entire. Dude, Marvel. I remember Marvel. watching that in the theater. Freaked and I out. was just like. Like they actually did that? Yeah. I was actually very impressed. Me I wasn't too. even I was mad. I was impressed. I was floored. Me too. I was like, they actually killed off superheroes? Like, this yeah. is amazing. And then they're like, oh, yeah, now we're going to go back in time and save them all again. And I'm like, I mean, uh, okay. But it was, they it was stuck pretty the landing, cool. Though, for the most part. Yeah, it was pretty for cool. The most part. It was it was cool because we finally got Cap to say Avengers Assemble. Assemble. That you was wanted my, to see like, that favorite moment. part. Well, we and got yeah, but then that, there's and picking up Thor's yes, hammer. That was so awesome. There, the, I'm going <laughs> to stay I'm gonna, on target the Marvel's <laughs> uh, section of the show. If you, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to spoil it right now. It's been out for a while. So minute. Tony Stark dying. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, dude. You can just go back in time and save them. Yeah, it's a MacGuffin. Yeah, like, yeah, there's no point. But they can't now. Dude, no, but they but they in, still can. Dude, that okay. hit me in the. They field, still though. have pim particles. No, it did. That actually hit me in the field. They can make more. Like, I agreed, but they that's what makes it redundant. They're not making movies anymore and just TV that's true. shows. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's garbage. where it sucked now, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it, hit, it hit us in the fields though. There were some tears. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it was good. Sure, but man. like, I got out of that movie and I'm like, wait, but. You can still go back and save like a different universe, Iron Man, and bring him to yours. 
Well, that's where like world between worlds. They got to be and see that's the problem I have with world between worlds. Ahsoka series. That's why you got to play it. You cannot. They're gonna do a Marvel thing, and I'm like, guys. That's fine, but like it's already been done. We can't go back do something in time else. And start giving what, the option of saving people, yeah, because that just causes problems. It does because anyone who dies like, for oh, a sacrifice is meaningless. Because yeah. yeah, you could just easily go back and get them. Yeah, it's like well, well, why can't we just go back and save them? Be like, yeah, you're right, you can, but we're gonna gloss over that detail and right. not do it. Yeah, John Pope says, can we get an adult-only version of Star Wars? Like, blood, gore, touchy subjects, and innuendos. I feel like Disney's child <laughs> childishness with Star Wars is a factor as to why it's not relatable. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's always playing it it's safe. It's always, it, yeah, neutral. Which they Let's always dumb play it down. Neutral. They always play it safe, and that makes it uninteresting. Yeah. Like, and then the things they lean into are the are just most bad. uninteresting things yeah. that they're trying yeah. to push. And you're like... What? You're going all the wrong ways. It's lame. Yeah. Like man. except for the animated R five. Yeah, yeah. yeah even in the, the little I, droids. That was one part we were watching the, the this finale, and it we was like, like I was like, this is the finale of the show, and we're watching R five fly around, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. slowly. There's like there's time instead for this of giving in Paz episode. a yeah. funeral, we're gonna watch R five and the dumb mouse droids they gang were, beat them. I was they like, were trying what to was do- that? Right. They were trying to do a comedic relief at the wrong time. It was, yeah. It was, I don't think I don't silly. think they know it was silly. I don't think they know the target audience for this show anymore. Yeah. No, it's yeah. They don't realize. Yeah, they're like no, 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 turns, any of them. It turns out our our majority demographic on Disney Plus is like nine and under or something. Right. They're like, well, we got to make everything. We got to dumb for, it down for them for seven year olds. But but even seven year olds are like, this is too kiddish. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. How do it's they like, figure out yeah. that though? Seven year olds are smarter than this. Well, show. they can look at you know YouTube or Disney Plus demographic. I don't know. Yeah. I just because feel like if you think about it, people like. Kids yeah. aren't going to yeah. have subscriptions to their thing, true, so true. it's all going to be adults. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ki- I mean, yeah, but the the, the adults will let them what, watch it. Yeah, but I mean? right if they know their age is creepy because they don't ask age. True. Yeah, <laughs> well, Disney's kind of creepy. Disney, um, mind your business. Right? So Disney's target is kids. They got to get to the kids, and then the parents just they assume that all parents are just follow the kids just lead like or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, great or good, and and, and they're thinking <laughs> like. Parks, they're thinking yeah, movies. They're, you know, they're thinking money, 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 merch. Yeah. So they're like, what can we deliver that that's neutral that we never have to like commit because of that? You know, whereas other movie studios, right, and they're too afraid to do it. Other right. movie studios want to make money by making great products only, and the movie they're not thinking about parks and to- toys as well, much. Well, but. that was like the genius of George Lucas, though. Was yeah. he? So he definitely it was for, it was PG thirteen. You know, it was still a. Like kids could watch it and not be scarred for life, you know right. what I mean? And adults could watch it and love it. You know, yeah. it, it reached everybody. It's just like Disney comes in, they're kind of trying to do the same thing, but in all the wrong ways. Like yeah. you can do it for all audiences and make it satisfying. You just can't treat your audience like they're idiots. Yeah, and that's kind of what they've like been doing. I feel like that's what they're doing. Yeah, I think it's Absolutely. because the people who are at Disney or Lucasfilm and Disney a lot of time are idiots and they are don't know idiots. how to. <laughs> Give a good story. They just don't know how to have. They're they're um, creatively bankrupt. I think in a lot of ways, and all they can see is their weird world around them in Hollywood and stuff like that. And Holly it's, weird. It's, it's uninteresting. <laughs> That's you know? why Tony Gilroy's uh, Andor was such a fresh, breath of fresh, of, fresh of breath a fresh air. of breath air <laughs> because he wrote something unique in the Star yes. Wars universe. It was grittier. It yeah. was. It was. And he killed sm- people off without fanfare. Exactly. Yeah. It was a smarter summers. show. It wasn't really for kids. You know, yeah. the torture scene alone. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That and, was dark. You know, so we have it. It, it exists in the current Disney landscape. Mm-hmm. But even then, you know, it's like it's like people didn't watch that. Like, And there maybe Disney's like, well, people don't watch it. But actually, we love that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, And we love Mando because Mando could be that times 10 with all the action and all the other fanfare. It's the mm-hmm. amalgamation of both it's shows. Putting it together. The perfect Star Wars. Exactly. Yeah, the perfect Disney Star Wars would be uh, putting those two shows together. You take Tony Gilroy and you have him work with John Favreau and Dave Filoni. The three of them coming up with a series together, I think, could be gold as long as they all work together and they are able to collaborate in a way that yeah. serves the story the best. You get Tony Gilroy giving those awesome dialogue scenes, knowing where he's going with the story. Having great three act structures set up for episodes mm-hmm. and the weight he brings yep. in the like 
the interesting d- dynamics of like things crossing over interweaving yeah that's how you do it but he just couldn't i just didn't feel like they had the budget necessarily to deliver on the action sequences that was part of it in some ways to me that was a little unsatisfying but in this they definitely know how to do the action for a lot of stuff and big action and that's what they kind of needed in some ways for andor and i'm hoping that the second season of andor is going to blow our socks off yeah and, and maybe a, and maybe Ahsoka too. I, I have I have hope for Ahsoka, but I'm a little nervous yeah. in some ways after mm-hmm. the milk toast we just got. Well, they're starting to yeah. set a precedent. This is now three shows in a row, other than Andor, that all kind of have a same kind of kiddish we, yeah, vibe, a, like, feeling just, vibe, yeah. no Disney common sense. Vibe. That's the thing, right? And they it's like they turned right, they pivoted like uh, Star Wars earlier on, or at least the first two seasons of Mando were a little grittier. They, they were, yeah. and they had moments Western. for kids because you got Grogu, okay, but. The adults can enjoy Grogu, but you just don't have to shove it down our throats, yeah, right? Yeah, don't shove it down our throats. Yeah. Like, just give him, you know. But anyway, and then this one, this, this since I think since Boba Fett, since uh, Obi-Wan, and since this one came out now, it's just like... Just the campy, like, like things yeah. that are just silly. Like, it's so silly. goofy. Yeah. Like, in the worst way possible. Mm. It was like Jar Jar times 10. Like, I would take Jar Jar any day over... Yeah, what we got. <laughs> uh, Obi-Wan and Boba Fett. I'm, well, it's yeah, like, I'm not joking. I will take Jar Jar any day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because at like, least he was a fairly well-written character. <laughs> yeah. You knew his motives. No, I mean, we Disney have, gets hold It of made him. sense. Like, right. who doesn't want to be uh, uh, on an emotional roller coaster when they're watching a movie, right? right? Some people just want the popcorn fun, and they just want to have lighthearted fare. They don't want to think mm-hmm. too deeply about it. But that's like that's who they're making this show for. It's just the very lighthearted fans yep. that are just casual Star Wars users. But still they don't, trying don't to lot. deliver heavy lore Don't stuff, Don't make though. me think. Right. I just want to be entertained. Thing. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so, but Star Wars is most so deep. Like the yeah. fandom is what's keeping it alive. Like us talking about this for hours and days and whatever. And so there's just not enough meat there for us to go on an emotional ride to be connected with something. That's mm-hmm. why Andor was so good because you like felt the weight of the Empire. Yes. Like yeah. it, it messed up our minds. We're like, whoa, that was heavy. Yeah, you know. And there's and we moments, wanted more. You know, every single episode. Exactly. Season two, that when when Luke showed up, people were crying. Like dudes were crying. Yeah. I do want to get to that because some people in the comments here said that they were crying in this episode. Oh. Okay. There were some emotions. And there was some tension. What a bunch of too, babies. Yeah. And there was some tension. But you see, <laughs> no, the, the topics fine. that they were getting into in this, I mean, I felt a little emotional at parts of this one. It was a pretty good. When Dinbo had the thing together, I'm like, that's pretty yeah. heavy. They're actually showing a little nugget of what we wanted there. Mm-hmm. And then there. The, it was a this, nugget, though. That's, you it was said a it nugget. yourself. No. It yep. was a we nugged, need a whole it mind. It wasn't exactly. the whole thing. They didn't, hang, they didn't hang on it. But the music actually changed for once. And it yeah. was a different feeling. Yeah. For like twenty seconds, yeah. you know, but they could have hung there for another minute or two and given us another one at the end, and that yeah. would have really pushed yep. it. But this is the neutral. They're like, okay, we're just gonna give them a taste, and we're gonna back it off, and then just a little right. taste because we still we're not gonna punch. We still that haven't ceiling. decided what, who they're gonna end up with or what they're gonna exactly. end up doing. So yeah. we can't commit. Don't commit. Don't exactly. commit to anything. Don't commit. Right. Non-committal. Yeah. If we don't commit, that means we don't have to worry about it. We are playing Switzerland. <laughs> However, <laughs> the one commitment that I did want to talk about was. And I think this may be some people's emotions in the comments. Let me oh, know. Oh yeah. Okay, was that was the only moment. Yep. Din. That's a great point. Officially adopted. Yeah. Grogu. That was good. Yes. That, that was a feel. That was a feel. Right. Um, yeah. One Hondo. And that's a parent to a child, you know. And and for people that were adopted, maybe that's got to be special. Yeah. And just people in general that like, you know, with family situations. You know, this is why I think we want family in this show. We want like a mother and a father and a kid how cool right. would that be yeah relatable it's relatable yeah. and they all have I trauma they really. all have past <laughs> problems what did matt say matt's what? like i felt nothing <laughs> wow <laughs> matt yeah. is just cold-hearted yeah. Matt is he's gone to the dark but, you know that he's was straight to the dark. it was a cool thing that he, he officially said i'm gonna adopt him and yeah. then you're like that way to go I, Jen. that is a great point and she yeah. said this is the way then and you look like, at bo and you're like yeah, What's right. Yeah, yeah the camera uh, the camera pans over to her, and yeah. you're like, is she gonna say something? I said, she doesn't. It's like, mm, mm, you oh. missed it. That would have driven it. it home. Yeah, that would have definitely driven it home. Home run. We would have been like, Bonnie Dimbo. <laughs> yeah. We'd have been crying. We'd have been like, they, <laughs> they finally they did, did it. it. <laughs> yeah, secret, all this work, <laughs> it secret, finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, people say in the comments, secret yeah. songs, same as uh, when Kanan saved Hera and Sabine in Rebels. Yeah. Like the flames. That's what I was, was That's what I was thinking of. There. That yeah. was good. That was a sacrifice. That was a, yep. that was a commitment. That had meaning. 
That had yep. a lot of weight and meaning behind it. And <laughs> wow, yeah, he was saving the people he loved. You yeah, know? take Kenny Bull's not happy about Din Grogu. Yeah, that what that is was that? weird. That What's was weird. weird. <laughs> What's up with it? We got two first names, right? Yeah. No, no, no. His no, his no. first it, name is his last name. Apparently. Yeah, apparently that's how they do it. Grogu which, Jaren, or is what Bantu said. Would would Grogu Jaren make yeah, more that's, sense? It's Din's first name. Yeah. and Grogu's first name. Well, then shouldn't and then Vizla they, yeah. be? I, yeah. Shouldn't Vizla yeah. be the first name then? Vizla like the Krees, yeah. Yeah. Like it should have been Vizla Pass. Maybe Paz. it's different with adoption. Maybe that's like the a proper way of saying it, but or you go by your last name. Like so yeah. the the first name is like you so, everybody so, so technically this whole time we should have been calling him Jaren. Yeah, Jaren. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Hunter I don't Davis know. said. It's not know adding up name. people. It is. That <laughs> threw me for a loop. I was like was... Din Grogu. I was like what do you mean, Din Grogu? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Grogu Jaren? I think your dyslexia kicked in for a yeah. moment there. I, you think I think you, you got hit one too many times in cut. the head. <laughs> Let's yeah, take right. it again. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Like you're trying to be edgy, but it's weird. Right. After but it's 100 weird. takes, or maybe table. that's <laughs> if they adopt them, that's how they do it. Yeah, that's what I was maybe that's how it goes. It's only through adoption. But only through why? adoption they use their first name as awesome. their same name. You know. So it now, still so, doesn't. I don't know. So now he's technically a junior. Yeah. Oh, that that <laughs> junior. <okay>. <laughs> junior. <laughs> well, Grogu was is his last so. name then, or, or his, his surname, and then Din. No. He just took on his dad's first name. It's technically no. not no, a no, junior because he doesn't have the same name as his dad. No, he has but, one of the same. No, I know. I just thought but it was a, funny. A Din it's and a junior. Din, Din Grogu. <laughs> it's from. I don't know. It's from Indiana junior. Jones, man. Indiana Jones. Yes, sir. I don't know. It is it's, you, it's Junior. Weird. Have everybody's, you seen Indiana Jones? Everybody's agreeing it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. What? Matt, Matt why are you even on the show? <laughs> He's young. Have you not seen any of these Indiana that, Jones shows? No, Those movies you came out show. like 40 years before he was born. That's yeah. true. <laughs> but true. Dude, you would love you would love those movies. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. Especially one and three. Two and four, and I'm thinking the next one's going to be trash. Yeah. But one and three are, are any next to perfect movies. No, one and three are next to perfect movies. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I watch, I just watched the uh, Last Crusade the other, the other That's week. That's a good one. And I was like, Man, like all of them are this good. This is so I, good. I don't really like Temple of Doom. No, Temple I'm Doom. not going to lie. Temple of Doom was <laughs> that one was just, yeah. All right, That's check this saying. out. Sorry. I like Eddie Bear because we got yeah, people going it. on about Din and Jaren yeah, trying man. to figure it out. There's some good explanations. But Eddie Bear says, if Grogu is now Din Grogu, that means Bo will eventually be Din, Din Bo. Bo. Yeah. Hey. Bring it. Well, dude. Bring it. It makes sense. <laughs> it just that, writes itself. If they do that and we call it like, we call it like years. Oh, my gosh. You just blew my mind. And every, <laughs> everybody who said Bowden, don't you feel dumb. Come at us, bro. <laughs> oh, no. We called it. <laughs> And everybody just left. Yeah. yeah, and everybody just left. Wow, sorry, everybody. <laughs> no, but no, but uh, yeah, that's right. But does it work the same with the marriage, uh, I, or is it only with uh, adoption? I think adoption. it's only adoption. Well, because Secret Song said, "Is Ragnar Ragnar Paz Ragnar? Ragnar?" I don't think so. No. I think because it's, it's his actual kid, right? It's and Ragnar. It's got to be something Vizla. ceremonial. Vizla. Yeah. It's got to be ceremonial with the uh, adoption. It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be something. Maybe like that. he's Din Grogu because Jaren. he said she said it was he was a foundling. Yeah, you know maybe that's why. Yeah, like they don't take their last name because they're not related, but they still take a part of their name. I don't know. <laughs> just no, another <laughs> thing that was not answered. <laughs> I like the, You're right. I feel like the a lot last of non answers. More so, Hunter Davis. <laughs> the armor was knocked in the head. They're saying she's. Yeah. Uh, we're sauced hard from Michael Jordan's liquor. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, the, the the bottle, by the way, that we Elixir. never cracked open. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't he have been drinking that at the end? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe with, saving nah, it for saving a special it. occasion. Saving it for a oh. oh. But nobody's going to remember Is this a in date? four. Uh, was, no. <laughs> somebody said in the chat, if she had showed up at the end, you know, or if she shows up someday, there's my boys or whatever. I feel like that's going to happen in the yeah, next season. It's got to. It's, it's got, like, Yeah. At one point, it has to happen. The only thing, though, which why it kind of makes sense that they weren't together was the fact that they just got Mandalore back, right? And she's technically the ruler of Mandalore. She's so got she a lot of work rebuild. to do. So she <laughs> yeah. does have a lot of work to do. Which, but 
then it feels like, well, then why isn't Din there helping her? You know, exactly. It still feels yeah. like Din should be there it's helping. Just, he's just chilling. He's like, I'm. Yeah, done. he's like, yeah. he's like, nah, I'm out. I'm he's like, both. Thanks people. for helping me and all this stuff. And like, but uh, I got, I'm a loner. Can't help he's like, a loner's got to be alone. <laughs> yeah, I adopted my son, and you need to get out of my life because I got stuff. to do. I got to go chill in my I'm crib, yeah. dad. Now. My man cave. It's like, yeah, you took my man card for a while. I gotta <laughs> yeah. go get it back. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. You gotta go. Find gotta go. That. Practice. I gotta being go put my feet up. Jeremiah Johnson yeah, out in the right. wilderness. He's right. just shooting. St- I was western. thinking, yeah, what a western looking scene yeah. there at the end too. Yeah. It's like the Dude, his, that house was pretty. Sweet. It was pretty sweet though. Yeah. With the ship in the background, I was like, yeah. I'd live there. I would. Too. That's a Lego that set. Was awesome. It's a Lego yeah. set. And then yeah. I was thinking the frogs floating in the air, and then Din takes his and goes shoots it. <laughs> right. It's like toss me another one, kid. Toss me another one. Yeah. Oh man, that's mean in some ways. Peter's like, yeah. we hate it. It's a frog. <laughs> we hate it. Ain't nobody asked, Peter. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Now we're throwing shots at Peter. Oh, we do boy. like animals people, here, just people, so you know. We also like to eat them. Yeah. People eating tasty. Wow. Animals. That's what Peter stands for. Speaking <laughs> of Taco <laughs> Bell, ah, bro. Speaking uh, of ta- no, but real quick, going back to yeah. an interesting point, we kind of jumped over there a little bit. Was the fact that you know he he adopted Grogu for the fact that adopted. no I know I don't know I don't know why my voice he adopted did that. him he can't get nothing past us I'm sorry like I gotta call it where I see it <laughs> and hear it I was thinking I was that was like holding, a high C I was right there it back yeah. at the moment not wow. really I was I'm, like I I'm I don't have to say anything because Nick will yeah there we go I don't have to say anything <laughs> I don't have to say anything because Nick will uh, why are you mocking me I mix them on the <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm an equal opportunity mocker he just had. All right. Come at me, bro. All right. Getting to the point. Uh, <laughs> thank you. For, getting to the point. Thank you for keeping me humble. <laughs> you you're not so pieces of junk. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're so joking. good at being humble, Dustin. Right? I rock at being I'm humble. I'm literally humble. amazing. No, no, no. But uh, the, the interesting point we missed, though, was the fact that she spoke about his parents, about Grogu's parents. Yeah. And she said that they're, they're, he, they're far, really away. far away. Yeah. If they're even alive, which is a non-committal again, but I still thought that was an interesting point. Like, do they know more about right? Because we've never right. heard anything about even where their planet's from. Right, the, 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 the Grogu and Yoda's like kind. Yeah, there's nothing on them. Like, was that a hint at that? Like, his parents were Yoda and Yaddle, or that, or like, is are we gonna ever touch upon like his species and, and his planet what planet they're or from? Anything like yeah. that? I feel like they're gonna keep that a mystery. Yeah, that's always a mystery. Mm-hmm. Only but, George Lucas knows. Yeah, but it was interesting though. It was still interesting uh, yeah. that they even mentioned that. But it's Disney Star Wars, so it's probably never gonna. Be it probably has again. no meaning whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> and JQ asked a good question: Is this cabin near Quill's grave? Because we never seen his grave. Yeah, it's true. That's a good point. Like, it this, could the, be. It's that kind of stuff. Like, I think they don't even know what happened in season one like, and two. It yeah. doesn't matter other than like IG-11. Mm-hmm. Like, those are all like loose ends that they could tie in and give you a little bit of an emotional, <laughs> oh, yeah, they didn't forget about that. But it's, this show isn't that airtight. Yeah. They just don't know how to wrap things they up. They forget. You know? Yeah. And they don't well, want, they think, that, <laughs> they think every watcher, every viewer is like never seen any of the other seasons. Yeah. So that's like, they're just like, this So it's got to be all self-contained seasons. Yes. Yeah. Almost I also love, episodes, yeah. Yeah, I love how IG is the marshal now. The marshal. And that <laughs> that scene where they're all r- crowding around him, I was just ex- uh, the, the whole thinking line. of Mega Mind. Like, back, back, you back. savages! Yes, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. At least I they am your marshal now, but don't double cross me because I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Yeah. That's what At least like, they ooh. did wrap that up. Like, we were yeah. like, what's up with the IG 11 thing? And right. they did actually IG-8. wrap it up. So ooh. that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that they, f- f- you know, finalized that. So now he's there. And, you know, in the meantime, Grogu did have a way to fight in that final sequence. Yeah. Yeah. Because when he got out and his little feet moving around, he had a couple of jumpies and <laughs> he started using the movement. force, which yeah. is what he should be yeah. doing. Yeah. And then That's he cool. got up there and I was like, it's over. He has the high ground. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yes. But you know. Obi Wan has taught you well. <laughs> yeah. One of the Obi Wan has taught you well. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Praetorian right. guards is like a force user. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's but just a lot. There's a lot of this episode. There's a lot that was good, but just didn't quite get there. And I just feel like that's kind of the culmination of this entire series. There's yeah. so many things that you you gave us things, but you'd never finished them, you know? Yeah. Uh, and there's so many loopholes and plot points that weren't resolved that that's, I think that's just why we're feeling the way we're feeling. We, 
we need some resolution to literally anything you've set up. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you 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 did in the most un interesting Uncommitted way. way. <laughs> yeah, it's like don't commit to anything. It's like it's like a lawyer writing a yeah. uh it's basically a lawyer wrote this show. Are we going to see the mythosaur fly around? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Are Din and Bo together? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Grogu's parents? Don't answer that. <laughs> Does IG-11 do anything? Don't else? answer that. <laughs> Paz is dead. Answer that. Answer that. <laughs> That's literally... That, of Wait. all the things... <laughs> Resolve Paz. Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't answer Are we going to give Paz a funeral? Don't answer that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't answer that. Oh, man. What happened oh. to the TIE Fighters? Yeah, so I think that's it. We want to get into these chat questions. Jonas Serrato's heading out. Some people got to head out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Let's get Deuces. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, let's and talking. Let's get this chat, man. I mean, this is... Well, let's uh, rate it. Actually, let's, yeah, let's rate, rate it before it. we get to uh, the, the, the chat. We kind of end our segment here in a way. We'll, we'll keep talking spoilers after this, but uh, yeah. let's rate this episode, and then let's rate the entire uh, series. Ooh. So self-contained entire, episode. Entire season, and the entire, Yeah, sorry. Not yeah. Season, series. Season. Um, so who feels like they want to start us off? <laughs> I'll start us off. Do it, Nick. Go for it, Nick. Mm-hmm. Drop the deuce. Mm-hmm. Solid eight. <laughs> for this episode. Yeah. Just because it was so noncommittal, and I literally I don't know where we're going. We're dead yeah. in the water for me. Yeah, <laughs> like he's retired. Cool. I could I could see him doing that. I no, know they won't, but honestly, I I might prefer that down the road. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Judging by what they're probably going to do. <laughs> wow! Wow! All right, uh, Matt. What what's you gonna rate it, my homie, my main man? Uh-huh. My main Matt. <laughs> Yeah. I want to say. Were <laughs> <laughs> uh, you passing a kidney stone just now? I want to say. I want to say. <laughs> he was about to sneeze Namaste. again. I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Um, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? My shirt. Um, okay. He was passing out. <laughs> you stroking out over there? <laughs> it's passing. <clears throat> Just say your thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, I'm moving saying. around here. Sorry. I want to say nine and a quarter if this weren't the finale, but because it's the finale, eight and a quarter. Yeah. Eight and a quarter. You dropped it a whole, a whole point there. Point, wow. Man. Eight and a quarter. All right. All Makes right. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, uh, Dan. What you what you got? What you thinking? <laughs> For the episode, I'm going to yeah. give it a... Uh, Satisfying nine point two five. Get out! <laughs> wow, Get out. really? No, we have to do that with Andrew Lee's. It's the best oh, of the right, season. Right, right. It's the yeah. best of the season because of the action and because of the the actual way that they somehow pulled some of this insanity together to deliver some kind of a satisfying conclusion for me. Dan, that's a true Swiss answer. <laughs> That's right. And uh, can't get out did a lawyer write phase. your answer? Right. He loves <laughs> neutrality. I am not mad about this episode at all, actually. I have a lot of questions, and there's things that I would have done differently. Seriously, get out. But for what we got, <laughs> wow. it was a good time. I'm just going to keep the, ca- the camera on me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm never he just gonna He's running out. the Monopoly. He has the power. So basically, this show now is just me. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Stay on target is done. This is the Dan on target. Dan on target. I love it. Kidding. So that's that's where I'm at. Nine and Don't quarter. you mean San on target? San. <laughs> Samuel. 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 Oh. Uh, a story for another time. Nine right. and a quarter. All right, fact checker. Hit us with your facts. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, boy. I was going to say, what did Nick and Matt rate it? And if I say I the same eight, thing, Matt do I get to stay? Matt <laughs> Okay, no, I was going to rate it a nine. I thought it was... (laughs) (laughs) I knew it. I thought it was good. No, no, no. (laughs) I knew it. Gosh, dang it. Would you give it a nine? A nine. A solid nine. Yeah, I thought it was was good. It ended happy enough. I was nervous. People were going to die or there'd be craziness. Mm -hmm. And there was interesting things, but overall, good. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go... I'm just going to go an eight. Uh, I think the action sequences that we got were right. amazing, were really good, and that really, really and the whole uh, Din um, adopting situation that was probably the the one thing that I actually felt emotional wise in this entire mm-hmm. season. Yep. Um, and for a self contained episode, I thought it was good, so that's why I'm giving it an eight. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. But uh, but there were still so many loopholes with the Tie Fighters, and you know some of the acting. We didn't even touch upon one of that acting scene that was like pretty. <laughs> and I, I give it some lenience because the guy's not really like a. I don't feel like he's a straight up actor actor in a lot of ways, so it, it's fine. But um, there's just so many things. Like, it just left so many things undone, and it was just an uninteresting way to end yeah. it, especially with the track record of um, you know finales for this show. As for the the season as a whole, compared to the, the all of the seasons we've got for Mandalorian, That's what I'm thinking here. I'm yeah. gonna give this one the entire season a like a six. I'm gonna go six. Six yeah. out of ten for the entire season. I'm gonna go six point five. All right, Matt. Did you want to expand on that? Sorry, hey I no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh Matt. For reasons um, you already know about. I'm gonna go. Six point five. Uh, because, gosh, dang it, you guys! <laughs> they really missed the mark on this one. I th- I feel compared to the first two seasons, yeah. they're super solid. And, and this then one's like episode oh, six Lucy, really Lucy. drops it. Yeah, I think it could have been a seven if you didn't have episode six. If I'm being honest, yeah, yeah. maybe even a seven point five. Right, you really dropped the ball on that one. Yeah. Um. But yeah. It's just it's disappointing in a lot of ways. Oh, sorry, is. I'll go into it in a minute. Dan, um, uh, for the season, I'll give it a seven. Seven. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I saw a lot of campiness in the first two seasons. Yeah, there's still definitely. I saw yeah. a, a there lot. There still was. Yeah, for like, sure. For me, for cheesy. There was some cheese ball, max cheese ball in the first two seasons, and they would deliver an amazing episode and then they'd give us a lot of side missions. So this one to yeah. me wasn't so much of a departure in that sense. It's just that when they started opening up to this bigger world of Mandalore, mm-hmm. you're like, okay, now you could give us something massively epic yeah. with right. Bo-Katan. Right. You're, the canon implications of this, before it was yeah. kind of, it was canon, but it was kind of self-contained. Yeah, This opened up a can of cannon. A can of worms. And yeah. I think it uh, it, it fell short. Like they got, they got a little over their head. And then yeah. they did lose sight of who, what this show's about. And I definitely felt that. I'm like, why is Din just standing around? Like, I don't want to see Wrecker and Cross or Wrecker and Hunter follow Omega around. I don't right. want to see <laughs> Din following anybody around. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he kind of had that. Oh, man. Seven out of 10 for the season. For the season. Yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, fact checker, what's yours for the, the season? Yeah. I'll probably say seven and a half because I'm not as picky. Just kidding. Um, no, I focus. Shots I, fired. I like. I do like <laughs> just sometimes being entertained, and I think back to like Ahmed Best and some of the the cool things that they threw in the yeah, Thrawn stuff. Well, it, it kind of was still fun but, moments I know, sorry, that yeah. stands out. No one expected. Yeah, and it, it was cool. So. But seriously, yeah. though, you think about it. Order sixty six was not effective. Yeah, it's not. there's more well, and more we Jedi. T- we talked about that. I think like ten Jedi died, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Most of them were kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But just to touch upon this season, though, real quick to kind of wrap it up in some ways. It just the, for me with the with giving it a six out of ten, there was you had so much there, and I really feel like this season could have been amazing. And, and even when I saw the trailer, I was like, I got, I was so excited. Yeah. I was like. Man, they're going to be touching on Mandalore, getting Mandalore back to its full glory and might. There was so much potential there for greatness, and um, there was so much meat they could have sank their teeth into with this episode that I just feel like they went such a light direction yeah. with everything. They didn't commit. They they moved us ahead, but in like the last episode in a lot of ways. Yeah, but it and it was uninteresting for most of it. I. Did not have an emotional attachment to like any of the characters until no. like that last scene, and I still was like, okay, you know, like it, that's cool. But why didn't yeah. we get this in every episode? Why mm-hmm. didn't we have something like this? We could. The potential was just so massive, and there was so much lore that like we could have explored, and you just you squandered it on like episodes that just didn't amount to anything in a lot of ways. Like they they, they did, but they didn't. They didn't get to the main course. Yeah. They just stuck with the hors d'oeuvres. I think one more thing they missed on, that, they, or maybe it wasn't, because I don't know if uh, Favreau wants this 
along with his Rebels thing, but all the couple of Rebel things they added into it, they didn't close on no. in this last episode or and did anything True. to yeah. add to it. You saw t- two big things from Rebels that were pretty significant, significant, yeah. and they did nothing to uh, end on it. It was a teaser yeah. for teaser's <clears throat> sake. It was like I think so that's what coming. it was. Yeah, <laughs> it's like hey, there's a new show coming. It's like. Yeah, but th- this show's not done yet. Why would I be worrying about that show, Boone, when I haven't finished this show yet? Yeah, in some ways. Because they knew this was going to be a dud. Not as good. As- yeah. It's not as great. Yeah, so anyway. It, the fall of the Mandalorian. Let's, let's just say it was definitely lackluster Yeah, uh, for us. It wasn't polished. There's moments that are good, but nope. it, it just doesn't feel as deserved when you have those good moments, when you have all these other moments that are just kind of like, and the thing I think for me in a lot of ways that would have really helped is just make have things make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were so many things that just didn't make sense yeah. that you could just easily poke a hole through. Yeah. That, what about the ships? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking up. of ships. Yes. <laughs> Tighten up. Yeah, but there was something in every episode that you're you're what you're talking to. There's something in every episode I yeah. liked, you know. Yeah. Uh, there but was, there was something in every episode that I very much disliked, yeah. and it just brought the whole thing down. Sorry, and that's like what Eddie Bear said. He said, Star Wars is like ice cream, so many flavors to choose, some you like more than others, but it keeps you wanting more. Right, mm-hmm. it does. Bring it back to the food. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, see, like now, I like it. Thank you. That was a good Now comment. I feel like they're running out of ice cream flavors. Yeah. This was our last hope. They're coming up with just weird ones now. Yeah. Well, they've just given us like vanilla pickles. for... Pickle like, ice cream. They've given us straight vanilla for... Yeah. Yeah, the last like three, they haven't done anything that wows us. Yeah, that's why the, that's why everybody's looking forward to the Mandalorian because with that <clears throat> with Luke showing up, um, that wowed everybody. Yeah. Like that actually set the internet on fire for once for that's Star Wars a in a ending. good way. Yeah, Grogu did first, you know, when he showed up, and then Luke did mm-hmm. it again to a totally new level because, man, who does not want to see Luke at his peak, man? Right, you know. Right. What a miss. And then even when Dan last night, when you threw that uh, Han, Luke, and Leia moment, yeah, all three of them yeah. <laughs> showing up, yeah. nothing would make me happier in Star Wars that would be than nuts. seeing the three of them Dude. together again right. in a story. No joke. That Maybe yeah. they'll do it in Ahsoka. That would be amazing. Could you imagine if they did it in Ahsoka? I People like would flip it. out. I don't. I don't think they I don't could. Think they could or do it justice. Would do it right. justice. Yeah. The only way they could do it justice if, is if they did a shot-for-shot shot remake of the Thrawn trilogy. Yeah. yeah, that is literally the only way. I do not trust Disney to come up with a story on their own, and that's what's. I'm still even nervous about Dave Filoni doing yeah. that movie. I am yeah. nervous about it. I, this show has made me more nervous about it. I know it's more Favreau in a lot of ways, but with Disney's meddling and. KK's meddling and so much meddling it feels like in this season it's that yeah. took something that was great or at least good great to that's passable. Yeah. But here's the thing, yeah, because Filoni gave us Rebels mm-hmm. and Rebels is airtight. Yeah. Solid. There's, there's like a some, couple. There's, there's, a little, there's, some, some, there's some episodes. Yeah, and there's that are some like, animated well, cheese. Well, you're going to find that in anything we watch. There's animated right. cheese. There's going to be cheese. That's Star Wars cheese. is just going to have a little bit of Cheese. Swiss cheese. Change. Yeah, and that's fine to a certain but degree. If the story is airtight, right? Like, we don't yeah. want the cheese to start interfering with the steak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you got to get the whoa. meat right. Wait. Why are we eating cheese and steak I love, together? I love steak. Steak and awesome. cheese. Yeah, yeah but, but I mean, cheese. you don't want the cheese. My steak. No. But I'm saying, if you got well, a plate of cheese. It's not illegal. And yes. then you got it steak over <laughs> here. Like, you don't want the cheese to, like, dominate the steak. Oh, oh right. right! You don't want to overtake right. the steak, but That's you can still mean. you Good can point. still have cheese with your steak. Yeah, hundred percent. You're yeah. talking like putting like a slice of cheese on. You know, steak. like have you ever been to Applebee's? Yeah. They have the yes. Parmesan uh, <laughs> shrimp and steak. You know, yeah, they that's put what cheese I mean. on that steak. The only thing I get from Applebee's is probably a burger normally. Like yeah. for what I'm saying is that they they well you can the, be wrong. They what we the order, <laughs> stay on target. What we order at restaurants, and <laughs> most of the time six. it's a burger for me. I'd say about ninety yeah, percent of the time yeah. I go somewhere. I wasn't telling burger. you to expand on it. I gotta be. I gotta be. I gotta be in a mood <laughs> for a burger. I wasn't asking what you want. Yeah. You're your own man, Din. <laughs> Din Matt. <laughs> Din Matt. Uh, so yeah. So basically, we got to get into the chat here. But I'm just saying, yeah, the cheese is going to be there in Star Wars. But if they lean right. into the story with Dave Filoni. Um, if we have an, a side episode, I hope Ahsoka is more than eight episodes a season. If they don't give us fluff, 
but I also yeah. hope that they can, you know, deliver on the ones that they do give us. Yeah. You know, or I even if it's five amazing so... episodes or something, you know. Right. Yeah. And they're each like an hour long or right. right. Here's the thing, like it that. doesn't matter how long it no. is as long as you deliver. As long right. as it's good. As long as it's good. So Andor taught us that. And he was good people. <laughs> and Andor kind of <laughs> corrupted us people. for what the quality can be. It spoiled us, man. Spoiled we were like, us. dude, every show should be like this. And so then you jump into Mando and you had a lot of popcorn cheese like, fun. Yeah. And then well, we wanted some more weight. <laughs> and, we wanted more weight. And the yeah. people now that said that Andor was too boring to get into. Dude, are you like, kidding be me? Be quiet. <laughs> Did you watch? Yeah, be quiet after Did this. Did you even dude. watch the show? <laughs> be quiet after this because like... Sorry, I mean, no, you, you can yeah. still say you. No, you can still be quiet. Get out of here. You can still say your opinions, but but be you quiet, can be wrong. Though. This be was quiet, like though. popcorn and no story in a lot of ways. Yeah, like very weak story. Well, entertain less, me. I don't want to think. Yeah, more entertainment. Story. They leaned into that, and they have to do that for like the glitz and glam right. moments. For like, this ninety percent of the people out there are not the hardcore fans. Ninety percent. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever well, that's is. their problem because they picked yeah. up a property of Star Wars. That's exactly. True. You should know there's hardcore fans out there oh, yes. hardcore that are going to want yeah. the meat. Star Wars has the biggest fan base in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and we have been enjoying this conversation with you guys. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're watching this video after the fact, we'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We do have our merch store that we've leaked, linked in there if you want to check that out. Um, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your frenemies about us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the way, right? This Am I right? This is the way. You guys got anything else before we head up on out of here? Nah. I'm I mean, it's been a fun there. journey. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, this is concludes a, a chapter not only for this season, but for uh, this our season of this yeah. <laughs> season. Our season of our show. You know? What's our show again? Which is awesome. And we got just more to go from here. We're going to keep talking Star Wars with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to keep building. Maybe we'll just we'll just take over and make Star Wars better ourselves. It right. sounds like everybody in the chat has I mean, you guys got better the, ideas yeah. than Disney, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> That's make what I'm Star saying. Wars better again. You guys are all on... <laughs> we're on the same page. Yeah. Like. Uh, great minds think alike and you guys have some genius thoughts out there and it's fun to talk those ideas because we got some ideas you guys got some ideas and that's what star wars is all about you can dream be creative right. More hondo star wars for me creates you know it opens up the doors to maximum creativity and it yes, kind of opens yeah. up the world to ideas and you know there's really no limitations except for what disney puts on it so one but, hondo. But we just blow right through that. One hondo. <laughs> One hondo. I'm, I'm still making that thing. I love yeah. it. <laughs> I love it. That's a shirt. A That's shirt. definitely going to be a shirt. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that as well. And we will be ne back next week. We're going to be live next week, 8 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, other than that, we are going to probably be still dropping some shorts. And we got some other videos that we're working on. So stay tuned for that. Also, check out our Laser Brain gaming channel. Uh, because we're leading up to the release of Jedi Survivor. 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 Oh, man. We are looking forward to that. That is going to be fun. Some more Star Wars content. Yeah. We're always looking forward to Star Wars content. Visions as well. Season two yeah. is coming out soon. Yep. So there's just more. And we got Ahsoka in the summer. It's not that far it's away. It's a good time to a be a Soka. Star Wars fan. Yeah. Regardless of good or bad. Or the ugly. There's a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. It, yeah. it'd been quiet for a little while. Well, not actually not that quiet, but we want it was we want quality. Bit. We want quality though. Right. We're getting the quantity at this point. We want, yeah. We're we just want not the getting quality. the quality with it. So yeah. it's good and bad. You know, at least Absolutely. it's not completely dry of Star Wars like it was for many years. Mm -hmm. But um you know, doctors. we only have up to go from here. <laughs> up to go from here. Yeah. We can only go to up from here. <laughs> And Definitely. in the meantime, yeah. let's write our own fanfics. Let's make a fan film. Let's do this thing. Make let's some music. It. Let's make it happen. Let's drop it. these mics. And I think we got to say it for the last time on the way out. This is, this the, is way. the way. This is the way. See you next week. For a second there, I was like, I don't know what we're saying. This will be the way. <laughs> this will be the way. <laughs> the Gungalorian. The Gungalorian. That's what we need to do as a fan film. All right. All right. See you see next you week. Bye now. But If you like that video, well, that's on you because that video was trash. Now I could tell you to go click on a link and watch the whole video, but I'll let you figure that out for yourself. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing on this show. I'm kind of just here. So I'm just going to sit here while you make up your mind. And I'm going to kind of...
account to play life choices.